Hey golfers, Drew Mahold here with Second Swing Golf. I'm joined by Thomas Campbell, a master club fitter at Second Swing Minnetonka. Thomas, how are you doing today? I'm doing good, Drew. How are you doing? I'm all right. Uh, we're inside today. Uh, we were supposed to be outside, but then some snow kind of came into our forecast. Um, so we're inside at the temporary Minnetonka tour van location. Uh, renovations being done to the, uh, the normal tour van, I would say. Yep. Um, we're going to be looking at some Cobra King Forge Tech irons today. Thomas is going to be hitting shots for us. We've got the pitching wedge, seven iron and four iron. Um, what are your initial impressions just by looking at it and what do you think we'll see today? Yeah, just by looking at it, it's a very clean looking club. Um, definitely notice, obviously, it's going to be in that distance players category. Well, let's get after it. Let's do it. All right, Thomas, Cobra King Forge Tech Irons. What are you going to start with here and what kind of shafts are we looking at? We've got the pitching wedge. Uh, we've got the KBS Money Taper Light 115 gram stiff shaft. Okay. Initial impressions looking down at it? Yeah, it looks, uh, looks pretty, pretty nice looking down at it. It's, you know, I play blades myself on my pitching wedge, so it is a little larger than what I'm typically look, used to looking down at. Um, but it doesn't look like a max game improvement iron or anything like that. So it looks okay. it, kind of middle of the road. Felt pretty good, actually. Feels How does it feel compared to, I mean, this might be ambitious, but a player's iron, you know? What, do you, no, it, what are the comparisons it felt, there? It actually felt pretty soft off the face. I was, I was expecting maybe kind of a little bit of a, more of a louder sound mm -hmm. or a little kind of more of a, more of a thud or... Yeah, well, I know, you know, up. that's how a lot of players, just since uh, models are, you get that loud kind of, not necessarily clicky, but there was a very distinct yep. pop to it. Yeah, well, that of them. first one felt pretty soft off the face. Actually feels pretty good. Going a little bit further than how far I'd normally um, hit my pitching wedge, normally around about 140 yards is kind of my, yeah. my solid stock pitching wedge. I think we were talking about the loft on this is 44 degrees. 44 on the pitching wedge, yes. So. I think I have mine set at about 46 and a half. Okay. So, so that's about, you know, the yep. roughly the distance uh, difference that you'd get. Yeah, about three yards is, a, uh, sorry, th three, one degree of loft is about three yards of okay. difference. So all we're seeing here, about nine yards. Yeah, so that's, that's about right. That's about stock, <laughs> stock right there. That one felt solid. You're talking about the feel a lot. Um, you know, I know it's a kind of a hollow back, hollow cavity design, but they infused some foam microspheres in there, uh, and that's what Cobra says is kind of give that that feel sort of a player's yep. iron almost. Yeah, it definitely feels pretty solid, soft off the face. It doesn't mm -hmm. sound too loud either. It just feels nice and feels, it feels pretty good off the face. Yeah, which I know is pretty rare for, you know, to have a club with such a thin face to yep. get that kind of soft feel to it. Yep, I'm definitely feeling the, the forged feel of it as well. So mm -hmm. it's, you know, it feels pretty good. Might have jumped on that one a little bit more. Yeah, pretty solid. I like it a lot. It's, uh, like I said, it is a little bit larger looking down at than what I'm kind of kind of used to. The top right. line is still relatively thin, though, that, so that's good. I'd say the club head surface area is just a little okay. bit larger. It's a little bit, yeah, it covers more ground than yep. you're used to, obviously. Yep. But Which is good on off-center hits, mm -hmm. obviously. So. Yeah, yep. well, uh, I guess we can move over to the 7 iron then, huh, and we can see what kind of numbers we get there. All right, let's do that. Get you over to the seven iron here. Perfect. Yeah, it's interesting now looking down at the seven iron versus the pitching wedge. This looks more kind of like in that, you know, like I said, the distance player to iron category. Yeah. I know Colbert's, you know, maybe a little bit late to the party, but at the same time now they've, they've kind of got all this built in technology here to compete against all the other kind of big manufacturers that have had this distance yeah. player iron in the past. Well, definitely. And, and at a slightly cheaper price, too. So. Yeah, absolutely. Yep. And, you know, obviously it looks like they kind of have built the set, you know, progressively with, you know, I think the top line's a little bit thinner in the pitching wedge versus, yep. you know, seven iron, you can tell a bit of a difference. Yeah. And then we'll see with the four iron what, what you look at and what you notice. But it looks like, just by your impression so far, uh, it seems like you've noticed a bit of a difference in the yep. shaping. I'm trying to, 
I'm trying to find a definition of how these look. And I feel like it's a mixture between P790 and like the i500s in a way. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, that looks pretty good. Mm -hmm. Looks pretty solid. I know I've, I definitely like those other two products a lot, and I think this is going to be a good addition as well. Nice. Yeah. Let's let it rip then. I know you're. This is a 29 and a half degree. Uh, you know, seven iron. Yep. The loft that then their stock is twenty nine and a half for a seven iron, which okay. is a strong. It's a little stronger, yes. Uh, yeah. But so you might notice some differences there a little bit. But um, I think you know, based on what you do with the pitching wedge and your uh, your you know takeaways so far, it should be should perform well. Yep. I would expect this to go probably one ninety five two hundred is probably yeah. my 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 estimate. That we'll find out here what I've got today. Let's see how accurate you are. Yep. Oh, that felt solid. That was ripped. That was that was crushed. That was really solid. Right on the actually. center of the face. Right in the center of the face. Yeah. Maybe just a tad thinner, but pretty similar distance, which is good. Yeah. And I think that's something that Cobra also kind of touched on a little bit there too. So I think it's their power shell technology yeah. that, that they've got, how essentially miss hits right across the board. It's yeah. supposed to give us a good, nice dispersion and, and, and total distance. Right. Yep. Um, what they've said is that they've kind of increased the sweet spot. And made it bigger. So, yep. like, and if, like, on, for example, this shot where not quite in the exact center of the face, but your result is very similar to your first shot. Yep. Yeah, no, that was, I mean, as you can see, it went about the same distance. I felt like I didn't quite catch it as well as hit the first one, but yeah. it's good. That's it, solid, too. A little bit of a pull going on today. I've noticed there's more of a, uh, maybe this is a, a bad word for it, but like a clash sound. Different. It's a little different than the pitching wedge, where it, was, it seemed like a lot more muted there. Seven iron is definitely louder, and you can yeah, notice it. It is loud. It's not I mean, like almost in, piercing. In this inside space, we definitely notice yeah. that it is definitely, a, you know, it's loud. Yeah. yeah. A bit more piercing than, yeah. at least I, know, I notice a pretty big difference between the pitching yeah. wedge and seven iron, which <laughs> is normal, but. Yeah. I actually like look at the seven on better than I like like look really? at the pitching wedge. Yeah. So Interesting. This is yeah, this looks really really good to look down at. Nice. Pretty consistent distance yeah. every time. It's a pretty tight dispersion. I mean yeah, all things considered. Good. You're hitting the ball two hundred plus yards. Yep. And you're when keeping you hit it, it that far, you'd expect that dispersion pattern to be a little bit wider, but yeah. it is Pretty much doing the same thing every time. Yeah, nice. Yeah, you know, obviously, I know you like to hit that draw, and it was, yeah. it was that was working for you there. Yeah, really nice. So workable as well, which is good. Yeah. Yep. Which a lot of you know the players distance iron sometimes they kind of give up that workability um, in order to you know provide the distance or provide the forgiveness. Um, but now we can move on to the four iron. What's your typical four iron distance? Uh, like with the gamers you play now? <laughs> uh, it usually carries around about two twelve. Okay. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm assuming we'll get something more than yeah, that here. With a lower but. trajectory, you know, going maybe about 225, 230 with okay. run out. Okay. Um, so this will be interesting, interesting to see what happens with, the, with this four iron here, mm -hmm. too. Yep. That's an interesting bull flight. <laughs> <laughs> that's not uh, that's not the usual it ended up trajectory straight, for you. But, but it's in a good check spot. Out the distance though. It's in a good spot. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, I was a little caught off guard too when I saw that. <laughs> that's nice. That felt better.
Interesting. I, that you're, last you're, one was a little bit spinnier than the one before. The other one was spinning about 3,000. Yeah. That one's yeah. spun about 4,000. spin 000. difference. It also gave us a little italicized number here, which means that it, you know, that TrackMan is kind of more guessing than quite pick okay. up the, the spin oh, okay. as well. So that's why that one might have gone just a little bit shorter. Sure. But even still, it's further than what my current yeah. oh, pen yeah. is as well. So. And you think you notice a big difference in the uh, appearance? You know, pitching wedge to seven iron to four iron. Is there a, like a clear it's progression there? Really interesting. As I've gone from pitching wedge to seven iron to four iron, I've liked the club even more and more. Really? Yeah. Pitching wedge, I wasn't you know as much. I said it was maybe looked a little larger than my kind of typical typical pitching wedge. But with the seven iron and the four iron, looks very very similar. Though. And then I know you play a like a player's distance iron now for like kind of as a driving utility yep. club. Yep. Uh, so I guess after a couple shots here, you know, how are you feeling about uh, this, this club here as a potential option for that type of It wouldn't of be play? a bad option. Um, I know with the King Forge Tech, there is a three iron option as well. Yeah. I think stock it comes for through gap, but. And you play a three iron now as your I utility? Do. Yep. Okay. I don't, so two iron for me just flies too low. It's just too hard for me to get the ball in the air. Three iron just goes just as far. So right. I, why make it too challenging on, on myself? So sure. Yeah. But let's hit a couple more with this one. I'm I'm excited hitting these clubs actually. Just that interesting. Uh, just left the face wide open. Yeah, believe me, I've done that before. <laughs> Lots of times. <laughs> Distance, obviously 250 total, two car characters. I mean, one, yeah. But the distance gains are pretty evident, I think. It's been a long golf season for me. <laughs> hey, Swing might be getting a little bit worn out. <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't going way right. Oh yeah, there's the ball flight. Yep. That was me reacting to the last one. <laughs> I was making sure that was not going over to the, to the right. And one thing I noticed too, um, in the, with the four iron is, you know, I, I commented on the seven iron being a lot louder. Yep. It seems like the four iron is quieter. Like I'm, I'm actually glad more. you picked up on that because I was thinking the exact, yeah. exact same thing. Yep. Which I, I, I guess that's, I don't know if that's, you might be able to tell me more as, you know, in your fitting experiences, but I, I, have, I haven't noticed that before with an iron set where the four iron or the you know longer irons are quieter than like the mid irons. Yeah, it's a little more muted than the seven iron was. I mean, the pitching wedge is maybe a little more muted. Yeah, too, I know. So, yeah, that's different. Yeah. Right, Set one more here. Very nice. Yeah, I like it. Pretty much carrying about two thirty, going about two fifty is kind of what we're we're seeing with mm -hmm. the four iron, which is further than my current four iron. D I wanted to ask you about, I know, because one of the big aspects of, of these irons is the um, tungsten weighting, especially in the toe. Did you notice yep. that at all um, as you hit pitching wedge seven iron, four iron? I definitely noticed, um, you know, it, it felt a little softer, but also the forgiveness across the face was probably the, yeah. the biggest thing. I think we noticed that with the seven iron, there's a couple I said, oh, maybe cut that a little thin or a little bit fat. But if you looked at the dispersion line, it was right across, right. it was doing the exact same thing. So I think that's the important piece with having that tungsten in there is, you know, that lowers, uh, or that, that center of gravity is right at the back in the middle, middle of the face. Mm -hmm. So it helps for forgiveness on those off center hits. So I think, yeah. Yeah. I mean, good. This, I mean, it seems like the, these Forge Tech irons check all the boxes in the players that's this category, would you say? Yeah. And there's more competition. Competition is a good, is a good thing. Uh, so Drew, we're just taking a look here at distances in dispersion. Um, left screen, as we can see, pretty consistent tight pattern with the wedge and, and, and the seven iron. Uh, there's about 50 yard difference between, between those two, cl mm -hmm. two clubs. Uh, carry 146 with the pitching wedge, carry 196 with the seven iron. Um, so that shows the importance of coming in to get fit for irons. Um, we might want to play around with the lofts just a little yeah. bit, just so we can have that consistent 12, 15 yard gap between each club, I would just be a little worried, you know, if, if we're going to have larger than 15 yards. Yeah, apart. and that appears to be the case, at least here, yeah. uh, potentially. So, yeah. 
Yeah, so we could get away with that by weakening the lob, the pitching wedge, or weakening the seven iron, or mm -hmm. something kind of kind of through the through the bag there too. Um, four iron was carrying about two thirty two. Uh, going 250, so you'll notice total distance pitching wedge 150, total distance 4 iron 250, so basically a 100 yard difference. Mm -hmm. The reason why the carry distance wasn't quite the same as 100 yards is to do with this height. So we'll notice yeah. the height was 101 feet in the air with the 4 iron, 123 feet in the air with the 7 iron. I know you were bringing up before yeah. saying, hey, I noticed that was about 20 feet less. Um, Still, good news is I'm still hitting at 100 feet in the air, so I'm still going to have stopping power with that four iron coming in the green. If this started to drop any lower, that's, yeah. you know, that's why we would talk to a customer about trying to consider a hybrid or something else to keep that, um, keep that height mm -hmm. consistent all the way through the bag. So you're thinking height roughly, you, it's, is it more about being consistent or is it more about having, okay, 100 feet or so? Yeah, I would say consistent. Okay. You know, we like to see pretty consistent all the way through. Now. One thing to keep in mind is when I'm playing, I like my four iron, I play my three or four iron as my driving iron. Okay. So for me, I'm trying to chase it kind of down, down mm -hmm. the fairway there. I'm not trying to get it way, way up in there. Sure. Now, if I wanted to, I could probably hit a higher four iron if I wanted to, to try and slide it into the green to stop it on, on the green there too. Um, the other thing we'll also touch on with four iron is I know I hit five shots and I took that one miss hit, one miss read out, it's dispersion. You know, mm -hmm. you're gonna notice that with pitching range is gonna be a little tighter. Seven iron is going to be slightly larger, and the four iron usually dispersion is going to be a little larger. Yeah. It's a longer golf club. Yeah. It's harder to hit because it's left off, left on it. So it's not so much the club the reason why the dispersion is a little bit off. It's me. <laughs> I'm, <laughs> well, I'm yeah. not a robot. So, right. you're, yeah. you're close. Uh, <laughs> yeah. But even with that said, like the distance is so consistent um, across the board with the four iron and the seven iron too. It uh, was. You know, yeah. the, and not, and, you know, left to right dispersion, a little bit wider, obviously, with the four iron, as yep. we should expect, but the distance was very consistent um, throughout your shots, which I think is a testament to, to Cobra and the Forge Tech Irons, I think. Yeah, yeah, we were touched, touching on that, kind of that, that tungsten weight, how they kind mm -hmm. of put that CG to so make sure we have that consistent, you know, on those off-center hits, going the same distance. If you look, you were talking about consistency. Pitching wedge was actually the, least consistent of the whole, <laughs> plus 2.2. Seven iron plus 1.9, plus or minus 1.2 for four iron. So very, very consistent. We're talking plus or minus two yards. So that is, yeah. I mean, that's pretty impressive yeah, that's for pretty, the pretty four good. iron to be plus or minus 1.2 yards of carry. Yeah. That's some impressive stuff right there, Thomas. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, great numbers to look at. Uh, I think these clubs are gonna be a great club for your, you know, for all types of players, really. You're, you're Better players will probably want to look trying to pick up a little distance, and then kind of your maybe possibly your lower to mid handicap players that are trying to maybe get a little more forgiveness, mm -hmm. better like look of a player's iron. All right, Thomas, you hit a few shots with the pitching wedge, seven iron, four iron. Uh, what were the takeaways that you had? Yeah, takeaways the loft on the pitching wedge was 44 degrees. The ball was going about nine, 10 yards further than my current pitching wedge, which is pretty much spot on to what I would have expected. Mm -hmm. My current pitching wedge is 46 and a half. Um, I did notice the pitching wedge did look a little bit larger looking down at it. Um, and then compared to say the, the seven iron and four iron, I kind of like the look of the seven iron and four iron just a little bit better mm -hmm. with, the, with the Forge Tech irons. Maybe progressively kind of slowly became more looking like a player's iron, I, yep. think, I think was kind of your takeaway there. Um, I think one thing that I, was, I found very interesting was the, the difference in sound moving from pitching wedge, kind of more muted, uh, and that seven iron seemed to have kind of a, a loud pop or piercing sound to it, and then it kind of was more reserved again back with the four iron. Um, and I don't know if you noticed anything, the same thing, or if you noticed maybe differences in feel there too. The seven iron was loud. Mm -hmm. um, being inside in this kind of enclosed space, you know, it definitely echoed. It was loud. Yeah. I was I was seeing it pretty solid. Um, like I said, the pitching wedge sounded a little muted. Four iron maybe not quite as loud as what the seven iron was. Um, I was hitting the seven iron and four iron pretty solid. Um, pretty much right out of the sweet spot, mm -hmm. kind of a lot. I was, I was loving how far everything was going too. So. And one thing we talked about was the dispersion. Uh, yeah, obviously very tight with the pitching wedge of seven iron. And then the four iron, obviously, as you mentioned, with a lower lot of the club, it's going to be wider. Um, but one thing I was you know, taking interest in was how consistent the distance was, especially with the four iron, and how it was actually, in terms of distance, the tightest dispersion of all three clubs. Yeah, I think it was like just over 230 carry going running out mm -hmm. to about 250. Um, but I also touched on how I like to maybe drive my four iron a little bit lower. So it was flying a little bit lower and running out a little mm -hmm. bit more than the others were. Um, 
I liked a lot. I, w I would almost consider playing like the th like I have done in the past with other distance players' irons, playing like a like three iron as one of my kind of driving irons, trying to get it out there 250, mm -hmm. 260, lower, so I know I can kind of chase it down the fairway. If I'm trying to lay up short of a bunker, just trying to find the fairway. I think that would be a great option mm -hmm. for me. Uh, the seven iron, you know, the rest of the set, you know, would be something to really consider if someone's trying to pick up a little bit more distance. But like the look of, you know, definitely looking down at a smaller, compact, more kind of player's iron, but with some added benefits. Mm -hmm. yeah. And then one thing we should also mention is the, the one length option that is also offered with the Forge Tech irons. Obviously, Bryson DeChambeau has kind of uh, brought this idea to the forefront in golf uh, where, you know, every iron in the set the same length. What are the type of benefits a player would get um, from a one length set? Yeah, so added benefit with one length is you get to be able to set up the same way with every single golf club. So seven iron loft is going to be the same one length or standard. Um, but from there, um, your, your line goals do change a little bit. I believe actually with the 2020 King Forge Tech, the wedges now are going to be a little bit flatter and progressively go a little bit more upright through the long irons being kind of the most upright. So that's kind of interesting how they did that. I believe Colbert said the, the reason why that they did that is because even low one length design for people to swing the same way, people are still going to probably swing that pitching wedge a little bit softer than a longer mm -hmm. iron. Um, and then it comes down to shaft deflection. Um, when you have a club and you're not swinging quite as hard, that shaft deflection is not going to be quite a, as much. When you've got a flat aligned angle, that, that's an added benefit. So. Yeah, that's uh, some great detail there yep. from Thomas on the one length. Um, and then yep. lastly, we wanted to touch on the Cobra Connect technology. Yep. You'll find it in the grip of your Cobra, Cobra Irons. Um, the Arcos technology is the app on your phone. It allows you to track your distance, um, analyze your swing data and all that. Just has an added benefit uh, from Cobra with these irons. So uh, golfers out there, you know, players distance category appears as if Cobra has delivered here with the King Forge Tech irons. Um, I would encourage you to, to stop in a second swing store, speak with a master fitter such as Thomas Campbell um, to get more information and maybe get your set. Also, uh, if you enjoyed the video, uh, please feel free to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more content. Thomas, thanks for joining us today. Oh, thanks, Drew.